Uh, happy Sunday. Taking the day off and ready to start the last week of my current job. Learned a few lessons. That's about it. <laughs> As time passes, the more um, correct the decision is. I know I need to move on. So that's all I have to say for now. I was watching other YouTube videos earlier and a good point to be made is that sometimes change is good because otherwise life is stagnant. I've realized I spent most, well, basically all of my life in LA. So as arduous as this experience has been, it's probably for the better. Just getting out of your own territory kills stagnation and it, it, it improves I guess the novelty of being in a new environment um, revitalizes your energy and it makes you think or look at things in ways that you, you get stagnant and you don't bother with. You do think differently where you're in a new environment. I don't feel uncomfortable, but it is novel. A lot of times people attribute novelty with uh, Anxiety. I don't feel anxious. It just feels new. We'll just see where, where <laughs> we'll see where we go this next week after this following week. I don't feel I'm gonna have a whole lot to do. Apparently, my uh, privileged account that has been uh, temporarily blocked is supposedly functional. I was supposed to take care of something sun this Sunday for work, but they never told me what time I was supposed to be there. So that's one of the um, hints that things are nudging me away towards another direction. So um, I'll do whatever menial work there is left of me to do. I get paid again on Wednesday, Wednesday at midnight, and uh, I'll pay down a few more bills. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As time passes, the more comfortable and correct this decision to move on has become. So yeah, if you're ever afraid of moving, I would say that look forward to it because as arduous or scary as you might think it might be, stagnation is in large part attributed to staying in one location, sometimes literally or geographically or whatever word you want to attribute to it. Um, yeah, you can't move forward unless you experience change. And um, one philosophy on life is minimalism which I've always considered myself a minimalist. So uh, once you accrue so much um, baggage, literally or figuratively, in order pro to progress and make room for new positive things, you need to get rid of the old. Everything serves its purpose tangibly. And uh, no matter how much value it might have been at one point, it's probably more valuable in someone else's hands. And I'm not even talking about tangible things that I've lost. I'm just saying, if you want to make room for growth, sometimes you have to cut losses. And if it means leaving town, I'm not necessarily saying leaving town is a loss. You'll always be able to visit whenever you want. And if you really want to, you can revisit long-term your origins. But that's Every experience is different for everyone, but that's where I am. I'm sitting here Sunday, fed. I've actually got pretty caught up in my bills. So, uh, and that's without an increase of my wage. So there's some positivity to that. I sold some stock I forgot I had. <laughs> Knocked down a, a bunch of my bills and... Uh, yeah, now I'm moving on to a, a more lucrative job opportunity. One that is more interesting, not just one that is a better paying job. I've said this a couple times before, even with the job that it, it even with the job that I currently have, if I was offered full time or if it was paid better, you know what? If I was just paid more money, I might get stuck in more stagnation because I know spiritually this job just does not have that whole much to offer. 
that was a weird collection of words. Um, yeah, this job currently, after alerting the technical details of where things are and who to ask to get things done, I don't think I'll be challenged. This new job offers challenges. In a lot of ways, it'll be very much about what I've been up to for the last 12 years. But it'll also be better because I'll be able to learn at an accelerated rate in a way that I wasn't on my own because I was not able to get my hands on technologies alone. So working in a team with people that might be more skilled than I technically, more experienced than I in business acumen, I almost guarantee that's a positive. Uh, I mean, that's definitely a, um, not just a positive, what was the word I wanted to say? Definitely the case because they have a real company of employees. I was just a sole proprietor with uh, occasional contractors. So I will be able to learn a myriad of skills that I would not learn in my current position, regardless of pay. So happy Sunday. And that's all I've got for now. <laughs> I didn't, I had a friend from LA visit me up or while she was visiting a bunch of friends um, because she has history up here. So she knew I was up here. So I spent yesterday few hours with her and uh, that's why I didn't have time for you no posting yesterday is because I was busy with people so have a great Sunday um, it's gonna be a very <laughs> politically hot um, week so stay safe make sure you vote and uh, that's all I've got <laughs> have an exciting start to your new uh, week if you want to know more about me, just say, uh, ask your questions in the comments and I'll either answer minor questions in the comments or I'll go live. I do encourage you. I am a technical computer professional. If you have a broken computer problem, I'm actually encouraging you to ask those questions in the comments and I might just go live and answer them. Have a great Sunday. Bye.